Hey everyone, welcome to Happy. In this video, we're gonna plant a plant that wants super well-draining soil. And we're gonna go through the soil amendments that we're gonna use, the condition that we're working with, and so that translates to the amendments that we're using. But the bottom line is well-drained is well-drained. And we're gonna plant a plant that is extinct a North American native that's extinct in the wild, the Franklinia tea tree. She's gonna be the girl that's gonna benefit from a boatload of amendments. We're gonna take it up a notch. She has slightly different I'm curious to know if I put it right down here. You can see that ladybug larvae. Damn. Pull the thing down like a monkey. Well, let's start from start. This is the Franklinia tea tree and it is extinct in the wild. Its history is absolutely mind numbing. A medical doctor in West Virginia analyzed its leaves and says its leaves are a lot like, the chemical composition is a lot like the green tea plant. This one was put into the ground in early spring the one we're planting now is going to get planted here in late fall. Purchased at the exact same time, this one's been stuck in a pot for many months. They need well-draining soil. They don't transplant well. So it's important for us to put it in its final location. Franklinia tea tree is known for being a difficult plant to grow and susceptible to root rot and we're here in Maryland back to that heavy clay situation so what does that tell us as gardeners get her up on a mound and put in ample uh, soil amendments underneath and around where that root ball is going to be to start with I did the basic things and that's clear out the lawn grass maybe three foot by three foot area here What's not so basic is I took an earth auger and aerated the soil. So I just went through this three foot by three foot area and just dug in with that earth auger to loosen the soil. Then dumped in some rotted wood chips to add some uh, organic material to the soil. The soil amendments that I love the most is just gravel. This is just river based gravel. Big rocks, little rocks. We got pine finds here. And pine finds is what you're gonna find in a lot of uh, the potted plants that you get from a nursery. We got perlite over there. And behind me is a wheelbarrow of decomposing wood chips. So that's four different types of soil amendments that we're gonna be using. I don't get too wrapped up in pH, except for two plants that I can think of. Uh, blueberry and the truffle bearing oak trees. The bottom of the tree is about level with the lawn around us. So we're gonna want this girl at least six, eight inches higher. Cool. Because we need to get up underneath her and start doing the soil amendment. I'm also gonna dig out some of this clay rotted wood chip mix and just pour in these buckets of material mix it really good mix 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 and we're gonna plant this girl on top of this mound of perlite gravel rotted wood chips and pine vines don't throw in too much at one time I'm gonna do the perlite last. Mix it really good. We had a lot of rain. And uh, so clay soil will have a tendency to ball up. Oh, the more you turn it, the more you integrate all the different soils, the soil amendments, 
with the native soil. Everything is wet, so it's hard to see that we have a real good mix of gravel, pine fines, rotted wood chip, and uh, the native soil. Generous amount of perlite. That mixes into the soil real well. The other amendment I use is Biotone. This is the one I use religiously. Growing plants is all about the soil. I don't think people really appreciate the importance of soil. Okay, I am gonna pour in a nominal amount of water But I don't want to introduce too much water because it's been raining and this tree doesn't want wet roots. When I say wet roots, I don't mean literally you can't add water. We just had a, a hurricane, the remnants of a hurricane storm dump rain on us. Everything is wet. The other factor is it's late September. So we're heading into winter. winter this plant's going dormant. She just needs to get into the ground. You don't really see any roots on her. It's really a strange tree. She's been in a pot for a long time and you can see very little bit of root action in here. It's not like she's been overgrown with roots. So what we're gonna do is just loosen her up a little bit down here at the bottom. Have that good perlite surface underneath her. Loosen her up on top. You can see that they use like rice chaff as a, a kind of a aeration element it would be probably more uh less expensive than perlite and i i think it doesn't decompose or doesn't decompose quickly we got our four soil amendments plus native soil in here I just got to make sure that that native soil is mixed up real good. Just has a tendency to kind of ball up. Putting a little bit of this soil mix over the top of this root ball because it had a lot of roots there right on the surface like some water roots. Now what we're gonna do is just put a nice bed of wood chips over the top of it to retain moisture. And I will count that as another plant planted here at Happy. We don't want a 90 degree dry spell to hit her. That would require water but if we don't get some strange, bizarre heat wave, which I doubt in October, but you never know, this is gonna be ample moisture for a plant that doesn't need a lot of water and is sensitive to uh, root rot. Anyone growing like an exhibition garden or a garden of a uh, wide variety of plants or plants that are unusual you're gonna want one of these girls and they're not easy to find at seven feet tall I was really really I was so excited I dropped everything and drove straight up to the nursery in New York I think it was Catskill nursery you can find out more about them at hepi.org forward slash products. Well, there she is. Set up real nice, tied off. Just need to clean up some of that junk in the background. The key here is if a tree or a plant needs well-draining soil and you're in any sort of a 
clayish type environment, you need to add some soil amendments. Uh, give it a well draining environment below the surface. The four important soil amendments for well draining soil is perlite, gravel, pine fines, and organic material. We use rotted wood chips for our organic material. Sand is another fantastic amendment. Vermiculite is out there, but I really don't know what its cost is. I just love perlite because it doesn't break down and it's natural. It's like a little lava rock action or something like that. I hope they're not doing something weird to make it white. But anyways, perlite is inexpensive. Big giant bag works really good for us. One or two buckets of gravel can be fetched from a nearby stream. I've also screened rocks gravel out of soil and have set it aside for use. The big box stores are super expensive if you get pine fines, gravel, uh, wood chips is free. Pine fines we get at scale. Rent a truck, back it up and have them dump the goodies in the back of your truck. Of course, you're gonna need a little space for that. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something about the Franklinia tea tree. It's just a wild plant. The fact that it's extinct here in North America is just bizarre. Take care of yourself. Take care of someone else if you can. Love you. Bye.